Hello and welcome to another lecture based on vectors. Today we shall be discussing about the section formulae for internal and external division. Later we are going to deal up with some numerical problems that would be based on the formulae that we are going to discuss in the coming segments of this lecture. In this lecture by the discussion on section formulae. Now we consider section formula for internal division. For this let us consider two points A and B such that vector OA is equal to vector A and vector OB is equal to vector B and point P divides AB in the ratio M is to N. Then AP by PB is equal to M by N. That means the ratio of this line segment and this line segment is equal to M by N. This implies that N into vector AP is equal to M into vector PB. Since APB lie on the same straight line. Next we have n into difference of vector OP and vector OA equal to m into difference of vector OB and OP where we have simply substituted vector AP as OP minus OA and vector PB has been replaced by vector OB minus OP which means that M plus N into vector OP is equal to M vector OB plus N vector OA. This implies that vector OP is equal to M vector OB plus N vector OA whole divided by M plus N. Now since we have substituted vector OB as vector B and vector OA as A, thus we have this vector OP as M into vector B plus N into vector A whole divided by M plus N. Hence, the position vector of the point P which divides line segment AB in ratio M is to N is given by M into vector B plus N into vector A whole divided by M plus N. Next, we are going to discuss the section formula for external division. For this, let us consider two points A, B such that vector OA is equal to vector A and vector OB is equal to vector B. Now let us suppose point P divides the line segment AB produced externally in ratio M is to N. Then the ratio of AP by BP is equal to M by N which implies that N into AP is equal to M into BP which can be written as N into vector AP is equal to M into vector BP since ABP lie on the same straight line. Now we can rewrite vector AP as OP minus vector O A. Thus we have N into OP vector minus O A vector equal to M into BP vector. Now we can rewrite BP vector as vector OP minus vector O B. Thus we have M into vector OP minus vector O B. This implies that M into vector OB minus N into vector OA 
is equal to m into vector op minus n into vector op. This implies that vector op is equal to m into op vector minus n into vector oa whole divided by m minus n. Now since we know that vector ob is equal to vector b and vector oa is equal to vector a, thus substituting these values we have vector op as m into vector b minus n into vector a whole divided by m minus n. Hence, the position vector of the point P which divides the li line segment AB externally in ratio m is to n is given as m into vector B minus n into vector A whole divided by m minus n. Next, we are going to consider the midpoint formula. For this, let us consider point P as shown to be the midpoint of line segment A. B. Then AP is equal to BP. This implies that B divides the line segment AB in the ratio 1 is to 1. Now putting M equal to N equal to 1 in the formula that we have discussed in the previous section for internal division and which gives us the value of vector OP as M into vector B plus n into vector a divided by m plus n where vector a is equal to vector oa and vector ob is equal to vector b. Now here since we have m equal to n equal to 1 thus we have the position vector op as vector b plus vector a divided by 1 plus 1. Thus, the position vector of the midpoint of the line segment AB is given as vector B plus vector A divided by 2. This gives us the midpoint formula for this line segment where P is the midpoint of line segment AB. Next, we are going to discuss certain problems that would be based on the section formulae that we have discussed today in this lecture. Now, the problem says that find the position vectors of the points which divide the join of points 2a minus 3b and 3a minus 2b internally and externally in the ratio 2 is to 3, where a and b are the vectors. Now, using section formula, the position vector of the point which divides the join of the given two points internally in ratio 2 is to 3 is equal to 2 into vector b which is 3a minus 2b plus 3 into vector a which is 2a minus 3b whole divided by m plus n which is 2 and 3 respectively. This is equal to 12a minus 13b divided by 5 which can be rewritten as 12 by 5 vector a minus 13 by 5 vector b. Thus the position vector of the point which divides the join of the two given points internally in the ratio 2 is to 3 is equal to 12 divided by 5 into vector a minus 13 by 5 into vector b. Next we are going to find the position vector of the point which divides the join of the two given points externally in the ratio 2 is to 3 which is equal to 2 into vector 3a minus 2b minus 3 into vector 2a minus 3b whole divided by 2 minus 3. This is equal to minus 5b divided by 1 which is equal to minus 5 into vector b. Thus the position vector of the point which divides the join of the two given points externally in the ratio 2 is to 3 is equal to minus 5 into vector b. 
With this we conclude another lecture based on vectors which dealt with the section formulae for internal and external division.